Hello, we are Coastal Tourism Group and we are going to introduce ourselves. My name is Milica, I come from Serbia and Bosnia as well and I studied Tourism and Environmental Studies. I am Ahmed, I am coming from Turkey, I studied Environmental Management. My name is Kerstin, I'm from Germany and I studied Environmental Sciences. Hi, my name is Fidel, I come from Colombia and I studied Environmental Management. I'm Juliana, I'm from Germany and I've studied Biology. How many tourists come per year to this region and where do they come from? At least it might be 12 million, with an average of uh, overnight stays up to 60 million per year. So that makes Mecklenburg-Vorpommern one of the most successful tourist destinations in Germany. You asked me where they come from. Yeah, our success is mainly on the domestic market. The Germans come here for nature-based attractions. Only 4% share is international origin. Hello, how do you like your stay here in my home region at the Baltic Sea? Hello, um, I'm, I really like this place and I'm really surprised that this um, coastal line in Germany is very well developed and um, I'm wondering if the global temperature will be increased in the future that might cause the, the bad season longer than it is today. So, um, You I think about more possibilities, opportunities to spend your holidays here? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. In Turkey, it's getting hotter not every year. Last year was the hottest year recorded ever. So we used to have all this in August, but it's almost impossible now. Maybe in future, uh, a Baltic Sea, a possible destination for Turkish people also. Okay, for Turkish people, you're from Colombia. How do you see that? Yeah, it's different. I was not expecting this. Back home is warm and nice, Caribbean and so on. And uh, you have really nice infrastructure thing here. And, uh, but I'm wondering if, if there's more people coming, you will need more stuff, definitely. More chairs for the beach, more uh, trash cans, and m just more stuff. And uh, that's going to, to, to cost something to the, to, the, to the town and to the people, and uh, something should be done to, to, to somehow to balance it. Yeah. We already tried to adapt, but I think it will be quite uh, difficult because we have this ecotourism ar around here, this region, and we need to find a balance. So this is the general consensus about this topic. Definitely. Which uh, role will climate change play? Do you think that will have a big influence on the development, maybe because of the higher temperature and so on? Mm. Well, uh, for this nature-based tourism that has mainly been done, uh, it will have an impact, of course, because um, nature is the is the most important resource for the tourism here, but it's uh, with that uh, at the same time uh, also the um, yeah the highest treasure, so the most important treasure to, to protect. We do not have to wait for climate changes in future to think of oh what what will we do then. Already now we have to protect nature and we have to think of strategies um, how to how to um, manage. Um, a very very important income source tourism mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there's uh, uh, not any other um, economic branch that important yeah. like tourism here um, so it's income it's it's uh, you know living source uh, for mecklenburg vorpommern although it's only 2.7 million inhabitants um, but on the other hand of course we have to think of um, what qualities uh, might lose through climate changes we won't become the second uh, mediterranean it's obvious that we already have lots of tourists here, uh, but the infrastructure still works. But it's obvious that if the number of tourists increase, it could be that we get a problem of that due to compaction of soils, due to much more wild path directly in nature reservations. So this is a problem we should face. As we can see here, we have uh, another problems with the, with the tourism and uh, it's related with the new infrastructure that should be uh, built for the people that is uh, coming here uh, into, into, the, into the place. So in my background you can see uh, the new streets being built and uh, the new hotel that is being built for the people that is coming here to this area of Heiligendam. In my back you can see the ferry coming from Scandinavia, Denmark or Sweden carrying lots of tourists who want to enjoy a wonderful day here in Warnemünde. And if the climate change predictions are right and we will get more favorable conditions for tourism here, we will have even more boats and tourists coming here 
and the uh, increasing demand of infrastructure to handle all these tourists to enjoy the day on the beach. This is Beach of Warnemünde, still. And here we have some examples of what kind of touristic infrastructure is needed and must be produced more and put in place here more if more tourists arrive. So we have these beach chairs, we have lifeguard houses, we have waste buckets, we have hotels. Oh, <laughs> my